Sit in front of the camera. Go. 1877, Chief Joseph and the rest of the Nesbis tribe have left their home in Oregon in hopes of escaping the U.S. government. They have stopped at the Flathead Reservation to ask if they could stay there, but were denied. They've been attacked at Big Hole Battlefield by Colonel Gibbon and are fleeing. Now Joseph, White Bird, and Looking Glass are deciding what to do next. Well, we faced heavy losses, lost around 70 of our men, women, and children, used many of our supplies, bullets, arrows, we're low on food and gunpowder because of the battle at Big Hole. And I have a plan <coughs> if we all stick together for the rest of our days. We'll go to Canada to live with the Seuss tribe and then sitting bull. I think that's an excellent idea, Joseph. I do too, as long as we can avoid the, uh, the U.S. Army. I will make the announcement to our people. Scout, you come with me over the mountain to check up our path this quick. I can't believe how old the U.S. is. Our whole tribe was almost captured or killed. <coughs> I still remember the battlefield and how it was in the valley. Our whole tribe, I asked. I remember the creek of many wolves. Wait, no, the only creeks going to the battlefield were the creek of red stones and the creek of many trails. Well, but we got the spirit to that camp. You two hunters come with me. We can go hunt for both <coughs> for the tribe. I know you've been waiting to go hunting for a long time. You say you've been waiting to go hunting for a long time, yet you don't focus. I know that you're... <coughs> mother and father were killed, and I also know that your brother and sister were killed, but now is not the time to be grieving, now is the time to hunt for food so our tribe can survive. Afterwards, I will make sure all of our weapons are ready, I don't... I told the tribe and all of our <coughs> weapons are ready. The scale knife on the path is clear. The hunters and I have killed many buffalo. We shall start our journey tomorrow. Sadly, Chief Joseph surrendered, along with the majority of the tribe, to Oliver Howard, 40 miles from the Canada border. He told them that if they surrendered now, they, then his people would not be harmed. Most of their chiefs were dead. Our people are starving and freezing. Looking glass is dead. <coughs> Where the sun now stands, I will fight no more forever. White Wolf did, I mean White Bird did manage to bring a small group of the tribe to Canada. They had lost many, including Joseph, who surrendered at Bear Paw Battlefield. But now they were free. Season 70s, Bannock, which is named after the